There are, there's a good amount of crappie down there. They kind of moved off this brush pile, but they're all over the place and they're moving back and forth between these cribs. So let's get down there, drop a jig. Forgot my scooper. There he is. I think that's gonna be crappie number one for the morning. Yes, it is. It's a good eater too. These are probably all gonna be like nine inch fish. That's okay. He's gonna fry up real good for breakfast later this morning. Set him there. This would have been my first ice video, except I tried doing it last weekend. I drove way up north, um, fished more of a pothole lake, and all I caught were these dinky little perch. Um, I dr drilled a lot of holes on that lake too. Today's video is sponsored by Two More Casts Tackle Box. Today you can get this leech. This is the Euro Tackle leech. You can get a pack of them for just one dollar if it's your first month signing up for the Two More Cast Tackle Box. Uh, it's a pretty cool subscription for those you've been following along. You get a lot of cool lures that I use for just one dollar. It's a heck of a deal. After that, you get an assortment of multi-species lures, hair jigs, crankbaits, jerkbaits, and some other plastics. It's a great little tackle box subscription setup. Today, like I said, we're using the Euro Tackle Leech. Got a, I believe this is a 1 16th, the brand new Euro Tackle uh, Tungsten Ice Jigs. And these are supposed to help when you're using sonar like this, both live scope and just regular, um, some sort of 2D sonar, like a flasher unit. A lot of brand new stuff for ice season, using that brand new PC Fun Ice X Frost. And then this is the brand new 32 inch ACC ice rod. This year they actually redesigned the real seat for their cork handles. Their super grips are still just a plain super grip rod where you gotta use some sort of uh, bungee or binder or electrical tape to put your reel attached to the rod there so for those of you that don't like a real seat we still got them with the super grips for those of you that do like a real seat the brand new cork handles are probably what you want to use drilled a lot of holes on that lake too i probably drilled about 60 and uh, just didn't find them sometimes these little pothole lakes they just don't have the fish you're looking for um, either if they're on the weed edge or if they're on this basin area right now i'm on like this rocky point and there's some cribs I already got six on the ice. I can keep, I can keep four more if I want, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep any more. These schools are just roaming across this kind of rock and sand bottom. Oh, it's probably more of a muck. There's big boulders and there's some white fish in the background. I've seen a few musky and a northern. I haven't seen, gosh dang, look at all those crappie. That is absolutely crazy. There are hundreds, if not thousands, down there. And, oh, I was getting a bite and I didn't know it. I wasn't paying attention. Look at them all. Here comes one. Thump. Oh, something spooked them. Here we go. Got him. Use another keeper size. These are all going to be about nine, nine and a half inch fish, possibly pushing ten. There's a lot of crappie in this lake, but unfortunately, there's not. They're not huge. Oh, there's the reason they all moved. Got a muskie down there. I'm going to keep him. It's a good size muskie too. Don't want to catch the muskie on four pound test though. Gonna have to be a couple minutes now for those schools of crappie to just come back in. Cause they're just, yeah, they're just going, oh, there's some crappie in the background there. But the vast majority of them moved out. 
when that muskie moved in. Some fish tucked into that crib. I'll have to wait till that muskie gets out of the way and then, then the crappie will come back. Yeah, it's definitely been an experience first ice this year. I drove way up north and uh, tried to find some fish on some smaller pothole lakes. Typically that's like a deeper weed line bite. So if you can find the weed lines in like 15 foot, 12 to 15 foot, you can usually find some crappie or some big bluegill. Unfortunately, I was only able to find some small yellow perch. Uh, but first ice, it's pretty much what you wanna do on pothole lakes is just drill around those contours, find the deeper weed edge. Uh, Typically the fish don't move out in, I mean, it de depends on the lake. Sometimes the fish are already out in the basin area, 20 plus foot, but most of the time they're right on that weed edge. Here, because we got such a diverse um, pieces of cover, we got deeper weed edges, we got these cribs, got rock piles. Um, you can find these crappie pretty much anywhere right now. I just decided to fish this little point that goes out on, it's like a rock pile point that comes out and they got cribs dropped on it and it's loaded with fish. Not really a secret spot. There were, were a couple guys here earlier. I'm not sure why they left. Apparently they weren't catching much, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard not to catch them when they're loaded up like the schools that they are. Let's spin back over, see if there's... No, that muskie must still be around somewhere. Because I only see one or two fish. Oh, there's some fish coming in way in the back by those boulders. There's a crappie. I think there's a couple more coming in. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I don't think he's that big. Ooh. No, he's he's smaller than what I've been catching. Yeah, he's about an inch smaller than what I've been catching. It's about an eight. See you, buddy. Yeah, the one thing about fishing this depth, I'm actually only in, I don't know if you guys see the screen, I'm in 19 foot. So I'm not really worried about barrow sickness from these crappie. Um, if I was fishing like 25, 30 foot, I'd probably just be keeping them. But since we're fishing shallow enough, I think it's pretty safe to let these fish go. Oh, there's a, what, is that a walleye in the background? No, it's another, that's a white bass right there swimming through the middle of the screen. Pretty sure it's a white bass. It might be a Cisco, I don't know. Come on, it's gotta be one crappie that's hungry and that's cool. Oh, here we go. That guy's aggressive. Come on, smack it. Yep. I think that's gonna wrap it up for me this morning. I'm gonna go fry these up. Be sure to click the top link in the video description. Oh, that's a good keeper too. Yeah, he's gonna fry up good. In the video description for the two more cast tackle box subscription for just a buck, you can get that Euro Tackle Leech for just a dollar. Be sure to click that link in the video description. I'll link the entire setup that I got going and the underwater camera setup. I know people are gonna ask questions of how to record the screen, so I'll link everything in the video description, but. Good to be on the ice, good to be catching crappie. We'll see you in the next one.